All right, it's been a minute since I've actually done anything when it comes to this channel, and there's a good reason for that. There's also a bad reason for that. So, um, general news for me specifically is that I've graduated. I have finally gotten my associate's degree, and I've managed to actually be able to get accepted to a college on the East Coast. So, I am going back. <laughs> I am going back to the land of the people that, quite frankly, I, I just click with more. So much more. Just a completely different culture that I think I'm going to mesh with. Um, bad news there. The type of people who go to this college are also the type of people that I tend to butt heads with. So, eh, <laughs> it'll, it'll be fun. It'll be fun to be back in sort of that environment of, like, genuine people who... They're gonna say what they say. I'm gonna say what I say, and we're gonna we're gonna be able to have good conversations instead of just like what counts as conversation when it comes to, um, well, everything that's happened in in Utah ever since I moved here. Just um, basically from now until August, I have nothing, and by that I mean I'm not working. I'm not doing any uh, specific academic study. I'm doing my own studies, for sure, but um, there is no real timetable or obligations that I have. And because of that, I'm, I'm trying to like pick up and really get myself back into uh, a good groove, a good mindset to be able to enter into college back on the East Coast on, on a level that I feel comfortable with. Because there's a couple things that have kind of fallen off. Uh, there are some things that have gotten worse. Um, but overall, I feel like by the time August comes around, I'm, I'm just going to be in a better spot for a multitude of reasons. Some of that, um, some of that I'm not really going to describe. Uh, but one thing I've been able to set up, and one thing that's been helpful for me recently, uh, I've been learning how to use Obsidian, the note-taking app. Um, and I'm actually using it for the notes I have for this. Not a full-out script, just sort of bullet points that I wanted to remind myself that I needed to hit. So, the thing about Obsidian... Obsidian so far has actually been super fucking useful. Mostly because I, I have everything I find interesting, just sort of like clearly within a, a very strict structure, I can keep track of what I've seen, notes I take on uh, books, people, um, articles, several of which I've, I've gone through, several of which I'm still working through. It's useful to really mesh down, hey, uh, need to need to check this, but put it on the list, that sort of thing. Um, I think the best example of this so far is I started using it when I was reading The Vori by Mark Galliati who is actually from the UK, and it turns out he's quite the expert when it comes to um, Russia and specifically international crime around the Eurasian, uh, Eurasian area. Um, very, very interesting. Absolutely ties into some other aspects that I've been meaning to look into, but uh, overall, very, very well put together book. And the notes I have for that uh, they've they've just been piling up, um, and I'm maybe like a fifth through the book, and I've already gotten down so many notes. So that's been useful for me to go back through, really understand what's going on there. Um, I've also been using it for setting up future projects. So I have a lot of uh, tabs and folders for stuff I haven't even really been able to get forward. And then the, the difficult part, the, the most difficult part that I had to figure out was putting together the uh, web upload. So thankfully I was able to put together uh, a GitLab, a GitLab pages that um, keeps, yep, keeps all my notes uh, up to date. So I could just sort of put that up and anytime I make a change to my notes, I can put it online. Uh, thankfully, the original notes are all in the uh, markdown. So there's no reformatting needed 
which for for some other projects it, it, i came across the problem of just uploading it to to a gitlab page would essentially change the markdown into html and that was rather annoying to deal with thankfully this one actually keeps the original notes in context and it just does some work behind the scenes using from what I understand, JavaScript. I'm not too familiar with Quartz, but it's been super useful. Um, so thankfully I have my own, I, can, I suppose they call it digital garden. Um, just sort of this this area that you cultivate of knowledge and whatnot. But I've built my own. Think, uh, hopefully that'll be useful for later, especially with some of the presentations uh, I plan to work on. Um, one in particular, by the end of June, I'm hoping to, submit to a potential conference that talks about um uh what's the idea uh, agency in video games there is a decent chance that i will not get in but eh, when it comes to academia you just sort of you try you you put out a paper see if it gets published if it gets published fantastic if you get accepted at a conference fantastic if you don't you just sort of take that as uh, an example of something to learn from and move on from that. So I'll be trying my shot with that one. Um, and I believe overall those are the most important things. There are movies and such that I've watched since then, but uh, I think for this one it's more, I just want to get myself into project mode, more into the idea of, okay, I got a whole summer, what am I going to do with it? I'm going to Overall, my goals this summer are to put together some conference proposals, paper proposals, see if any of those get accepted. If they do, fantastic. As well as get myself into a more structured approach of uh, studying and studying language study specifically by the end of the summer. I do want to be, I do want to have more of an intermediate understanding of Russian. Uh, I can. I can read articles, but like it takes a long time. It takes <laughs> it takes about an hour for me to read uh, a 500 word article in Russian, which is very, very, very slow. But um, I'm getting there. It used to be three hours, <laughs> so <laughs> progress is being made, but very, very slowly. Hopefully, by the end of the summer, it takes me maybe 20 minutes. Overall, that that's been what I'm working on, and hopefully. Um, no promises, but I do have something I uh, I have been planning for the channel specifically. We'll see how that pans out. Anyway, uh, thanks for dealing with this ramble. Just trying to keep things afloat and keep myself centered. All that. Uh, hope you have a good one.